Okay, some people have asked how you work out which sensor, Hall effect sensor on a sensor board is the A and which is the B and which is the C. Well, it's not marked on them and uh, there's three of them in a normal motor. We're talking about the 540 normal two-pole motor and uh, it's not marked on. And um, if you want to, uh, for instance, uh, move one of the sensors, I, I don't know. Anyway, people have asked. So there's um, a couple of ways of doing it. If you happen to have uh, one of these uh, meters or some other meter that indicates ABC, I think you can buy um, some little uh, sensor testers as well. Uh, you get the uh, sensor board like this, so you can uh, see the halls. Uh, and you need a, quite a weak magnet. Uh, here is a, um, a a fridge magnet, something that sticks on the fridge. You want a quite a small one, a little round magnet like that. And uh, this, it, you put it over the top of each sensor like this. Uh, there's the magnet there, and you look at the oops. You look at the display, and it's B. You move it round to the next one. C and the next one A and back to B. So you can that's B C A and the rotor is a anti clockwise rotor, so you'd expect it to go A B C A B C because the rotor's going around that way, magnetic field. So you can mark that, uh, draw do a drawing. And like this, for instance, draw your ML before you forget and mark A, B, C. Well, um, if you don't have uh, one of these, uh, the wiring to these sensors is a standard. Now, um, I've tried to draw it here. Uh, this is the sensor wire that's coming and plugging into the sensor board. The... Uh, it's got six connections, they're offset. Uh, this is offset to the top. And here's another picture showing you the offset to the top. And the wires that go to it go A, B, C uh, along there to the three Hall effect devices. Okay, another way you can do it, if you've got a multimeter, um, cut the and an old sensor wire as for the drawing I've done here, uh, A, B, C, it doesn't matter which one. Let's do C, the outer one. Make sure it's the right way up as for the drawing. Uh, cut the wire, which would be the second one in. Let me just get it. That's going to be the C. Just bear the wire so we can get to it. Now just uh, connect your multimeter to the wire which is going to be C. Okay, you bear the wire that you've just cut, put the crocodile clip on it, set the uh, meter to ohms and then take the other probe that you've got and uh, check out the outside of each hall. But see that one goes up, that's that's the one you're looking for. If you check the outside of the other two hall devices, this one, this one, nothing, this one there goes up. So you know that's C. You know that one is C and then it means that one's A and that one's B. So write it on We'll write it on a drawing, anything, so you don't forget. So that's C. So it was the wire. Second one in, I cut. Put the meter on it. And uh, it's falling off. Put the meter on it, and it's... Um, the... That one. Mark it with a pen, anything that will write C 
and um, go ahead and do whatever you want. <laughs>